In 2012, Goffstown High School began the Pulse Project. So I think our information center does a great job of integrating a whole lot of STEM ideas together and challenging students with it. For instance, recently students were challenged with the idea of taking marshmallows and toothpicks and creating a three-dimensional structure which would hold weight. Um, it was great to see the kids working together on this, collaborating, coming up with problem-solving ideas. I think this connected. I think it should be connected. That'll help. And that one right there. That one. Sorry. Yeah. It is my honor and privilege to share a few remarks regarding the Information Center at the Goffstown High School. I have seen a vastly transformative program that promote critical thinking, problem solving, supporting kids with innovations in the development and cultivation of new ideas. Examples would include the maker spaces that we're proud to have, the Human Library Project that we sponsored in collaboration with the community of Goffstown, and all the support for research, teaching and encouraging kids to be ethical users of information. The library and the Library Media Center is the hub and the heart of Goffstown High School. So today, April 16th, we are doing the Human Library at Goffstown High School. The Human Library is an international event started in Denmark by an organization called Stop the Violence that aimed to end bullying and stereotyping. We brought it to Goffstown High School in an attempt to show the kids they can be whoever they want to be. Um, we tied it to careers to fit within our curriculum um, to show the kids that no matter uh, what the job, it doesn't matter who they are, they can pursue it. We have 70 students participating today, 24 human books. Kids are going to get the chance to talk to the books uh, 15 minutes, one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like speed dating, um, and then switch. So I think the Human Library is a very um, interwoven and important piece of what we do with respect to school counseling. We try to do whatever we can to help encourage students to think critically and globally about what their futures might hold for them. And I think the Human Library does a great job of getting them in invested in exploring new careers, in thinking about their place in the world, and in trying to understand how their own goals and strengths um, sort of can play a part in making their dreams come true. Town High School Summer Reading Program was inspired by an idea that I heard at a New England English Teachers Conference the idea of having an entire school involved in a summer reading book discussion group, so to speak. I teach a sculpture class and Miss Mannon was kind enough to assist me to locate some books that we were going to deconstruct because I like to do an introduction with a warm-up exercise, deconstructing, reconstructing, upcycling books. We did display them in the library as well as had the opportunity to go up to um, the Gordon Nash Library and display them at that location. So this year I've had the pleasure of working through the Pulse program and, and the Information Center at GHS to um, set up a mock election where students work to um, conduct voting here in the Information Center. We also are planning a Civic Awareness Week um, next year during Veterans Day week, so we're hoping that that will promote some of the clubs here in the school and bring in outside organizations um, that promote volunteering. There are so many um, aspects and parts of our information center that we could talk about, and you've heard from about many of the great, great innovative um, works that are happening at Gostown High School in the Information Center. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about how much I just physically like the space and as an ardent people watcher and observer, it is my belief, and I, I think I'm right on this belief, is that when I look at students and staff, that is probably the place in the building where I see, um, where people uh, feel most comfortable. I see great appropriate research going on, lots of hard work, and I think also that blend of having the opportunity while you're working hard to be able to interact and speak with other students and other teachers and other staff is huge. The Pulse program drives our community.